Hi, well I've been asked by Bethan and her little brother Thomas to show you how to draw a really angry lion and this is what we're going to try and draw today. It might look difficult but if you follow my instructions you'll find it's really quite easy. So get a pencil, a very soft pencil and draw very very softly with it. Here we go. And again, I want you to draw very very lightly with a pencil. So this is the underdrawing, this is kind of the planning of the thing. And I want you to draw a kind of a circle, but it's more of an egg shape, really. And you can put a very light line across the middle of it, just to find the middle. Um, and we've got a kind of an angle here. So that's going to be his body there. And that's about the main bit of planning that you need. Those will be his legs coming down there like that. Paws on the bottom like that. And that will show you what's going on. And maybe put the tail on the back there. Right. This is the middle line here. You can maybe put one through the middle as well. And the nose is a kind of a triangular shape like that. And the line comes down and that just turns into a kind of a W. It goes around like that. And then He's scrunching his nose up, and then you want two lines going out at an angle like that, and underneath them will be his eyes, kind of like that. And you can maybe add some bits, some more bits like that. Um, he wants his ears up on the top; they're just sticking out slightly over the top of his mane, like and. I want to have a bit in front of those. Then you want two big teeth coming down like that. And those are his front teeth. And, and that's his open mouth. I think it's a bit too open. Uh, and two big teeth sticking up and his bottom row of teeth. And then that'll be his tongue with a little line in the middle. And it's going to be something like that. Um, with the the paws, you could draw two little circles like that, just to give you a, a plan of how that's going to fit in. And now I think it's time to ink it in. And I'm still using my favourite Rare Paper Mate Tiki Graphic by Rotring. I really like these now. Um, I always used to use Rotring pens, which involved lots of filling up with ink and getting ink all over your fingers but these are really nice because they, they dry waterproof but they're not kind of they don't smell like um, normal indelible markers or anything like that so they dry waterproof and you can you can paint uh, watercolour over the top now I think we should start here and draw a little bit of hairy bits over the top of his ears and then you can draw his ears behind like that, and then around this kind of circle, you can go wiggle, 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 and wiggle, 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 and you can maybe bring it down to a point there. Wiggle, 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 like that. Okay. Put the nose in, and that will give you a kind of a reference for the whole thing. And then those are his kind of eyebrows, and his eyes. He's looking quite fierce, isn't he? There we are. His eyes will be like that. If you put these little marks there, that kind of scrunches his nose up and makes him look a bit more fierce. Um, bring his top lip round like that. He maybe has a few bits and some whiskers. And then those teeth and the bottom teeth. Actually, bring that line there around there first. The bottom teeth like that. And then the tongue, and then you probably want to colour in quite dark around there, like that. And that's the bottom lip there. Um, up here, I think you can put some wiggle, wiggle, wiggles, and some 
bits to make it look kind of furry. Uh, and that's kind of his face, really. So bring this line out for the back and follow it all the way up and round for the tail. And then the tail will just do a kind of a squiggly bit like that. And then this is the tricky bit. This is always the tricky bit with, with, with four-legged animals. Um, follow round. There's a little bit of a wiggle there. And can you see these circles here? Bring that up and around, up and around, up and around. And those are the feet. Um, and then just curve that in like that. So I should have probably made that a bit more furry. We'll do that with the front leg. So here we can go wiggle, 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 wiggle. That makes it look a bit more furry. Bring that round that circle. Bring it round that circle. And bring that round that circle. And then up. And again on this side, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Round that circle. Round that circle. Around that circle. And up. And he has quite a deep chest. Going up like that, and then the other foot is going to be something like that there. And there's the the grassy plains of the high veldt in Africa, and probably oh, an acacia tree in the background. And, um, and that's basically your fierce and angry lion. Once it's all dry. As ever, get your eraser out, rub out the pencil lines, and you will never know that you've done the planning. But you have to remember to draw those pencil lines very, very lightly, or else they will get into the paper and you will never be able to rub them out. So maybe you might do a bit of shading like that. And this is more cross hatching, really, isn't it? So you can carry on cross hatching forever and ever until you delete and obliterate the picture. Um, cross hatching is just something you just have to do it and try things out. And you learn um, just by experience with cross hatching, really, and looking how other people do it. That's always a good thing. Um, you might put a bit of bit of shade in there and in the ears. Um, maybe a bit of shade down there as well, just to bring the face out a bit more, doesn't it? And some more kind of hairiness like that. And then we can just shade the tongue in a bit like that. And I think that does it. You can have, uh, uh, uh. Good.